Hey guys, so not that long ago, I began a journey to go to the Elflands and find my riches by exploring all that Priftinus and Taranwen had to offer. Now, I'd never spent very much time in these elven lands, so the goal was not only to discover what they had to offer, but to enjoy the journey, to really drink in the nectar. But somewhere along the way, as always happens in RuneScape, the allure of loot and of big numbers and best in slot gear started to called to me and well this is the story of how my week and a half started out really cool got totally fucked up along the way and then got really cool again so uh welcome to prif 2 electric boogaloo so when we first got to priftinus it was all about exploration it was about seeing priftinus for what it really was holy shit i wanted to experience firsthand what made the elf land so great holy shit i wasn't gonna look up a guide to speed run the game oh my god we were gonna take our time time here in Prithinus. Every single one! Holy shit! And try a really hands-on method to learning what's in the game. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not all the elf women are. <laughs> Look at the fuck out of here. And so we set some goals. First of all, I got 85 thieving so I could pickpocket some elves to hopefully get the enhanced teleport crystal, which would mean unlimited teleports to this specific area in Prithinus right here on the screen. And I also set a goal of getting the elven signet ring, which means I had to catch crystal implings for a 1 in 120-ish chance of getting the ring and that grind was going <laughs> super great that one's a fun one now you should really <laughs> and so we got the enhanced teleport seed but not just one we got four and we caught a lot of crystal implings and we didn't get the signet but we made a lot of money there too but now it was time for the grinds i was really looking forward to it was time to defeat the bosses here in priftinus i was going to the gauntlet to defeat hunliff and then eventually the corrupted gauntlet to defeat cor corrupted corrupted hunliff is that what you call him um the red one who's slightly stronger I or maybe like way stronger. And then we were gonna go to Zolcano to mine this bitch for all she was worth. And if you think that's all that Priftinus has to offer, well, have I got a story for you. Hey, RuneScape players, Nine Rain here. Or am I? And what is a RuneScape player? Contrary to popular belief, RuneScape players are human beings. And human beings are animals. Now, animals eat food. Now, I know it may sound weird, but RuneScape players actually eat around three meals a day. Now, recently, I started using a service called Factor to order my meals online. Now, Factor delivers meals right to your doorstep. They're fresh meals that are never frozen, and they're designed by dietitians to ensure that every meal is packed with science-backed nutritional quality. There's no more meal prep, no more dishes, no more XP waste. Because of the convenience, Factor can help you with your RuneScape gains. Because of the nutritional quality, Factor can also help you with your health gains. They have a flexible menu with meal preferences like keto, calorie smart, vegan, vegetarian, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Bottom line is, I really like Factor. They say the way to a man's heart is through his stomach, and they send me food, and I think I love Factor. <laughs> Uh, one of my goals in life was to get to a point with this YouTube channel where a company would send me food. And I'm there now, but you can also be there now. Use my link in the description or go to go.factor75.com and use the code POG9RAIN130 for $130 off across six boxes. That is well more than a year's worth of RuneScape membership. Thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. I guess back to more RuneScape progress. I am here at the gauntlet and i've done this before i have one completion i did it guideless and i just kind of yeeted it to see if i could figure it out and that was about a year and a half ago and i haven't touched it since so <laughs> this is uh, gonna be great hey look at that we got a corrupted gauntlet kill let's go okay yeah very messy but kill number two it took me three minutes to kill him i think that's probably very bad i mean 75k and a bunch of shards not bad i'm just gonna throw a bunch of these and then we're gonna switch over to the corrupted gauntlet when i feel like i have a really good handle of what's going on and uh yeah that was kind of fun hey number two Whoa. There's an Addy place here. We fucking take those. Haha, -ha, losers. Okay, what do we get? Okay, dragon arrows, whatever. Let's that's that's fine. And battle stabs. Okay, we've got 10 KC. Guys, I made 700 K and 55 crystal shards. I think I'm just gonna try corrupted gauntlet. Even if I only get it one out of every five times, that's the same drop rate for the enhanced crystal seed, which hopefully I'm not that piss poor at it. But 10 normal gauntlets, pretty easy. We'll see how this corrupted gauntlet goes. So for those of you that are new here, welcome to Iron Man. This series where it's basically a main account, but everything in the boss, raids, or slayer collection log is off limits until I've earned it myself. That means that if I want the good gear from bosses, I gotta go kill them. I gotta get the drop. Once 
it lights up in the collection log, I can buy, sell, and use that item. So I've got a long-term goal of maybe going to the Inferno and getting an Inferno cape. And one of the gear sets that I need to do that is crystal armor and the bow of Ferdinheinen. Ferdinin, Fanan. And the bow of Fadhanheinen. And because of the rules for this account, I only have to get one crystal armor seed and one enhanced crystal weapon seed, and then I can buy the rest of the armor and both the Bofa and the Blade of Seldor if I need that later. So that's the plan. Um, what? Okay, we, uh, we died. <laughs> we fucking- I thought I got the switch in time. I did not get the switch in time. We got some air runes. Let's fucking go, baby. Hey, we died. <laughs> Woohoo! Fucking love it. Let's go. Didn't do any damage. I wish I had augury. Fuck this place. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! So the corrupted gauntlet is pretty hard. It's like the normal gauntlet, except everything does more damage. The boss has more health. I think there's extra phases, and you have less time to do prep, so if you are not on your A game, you fucking die. <laughs> but, as I mentioned earlier, the drop rate for the crystal armor seed and the enhanced crystal weapon seed that I need are way higher here, and who could resist the lure of higher drop rates in RuneScape? And we're we're kicking ass here at the Corrupted Gauntlet. <clears throat> I know some of you are wondering uh, why I'm le uh, exiting the <clears throat> the Gauntlet portal, but we did, uh, we're gonna... Uh, things are going really well. We're gonna go back, though, later when, when I feel like going back. Uh, but for now, <clears throat> for now, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go... We're gonna do a couple more laps. We're... <laughs> If you can't tell, things are a little rough at the Corrupted Gauntlet. I really knew I haven't been playing RuneScape very much lately. I forget where my prayers are. I keep trying to use Augury, but I, I don't even have Augury. So it's like, it got confusing me. Things were going swimmingly, so I decided to try a couple other things around Priftinus. There's a, I think there's a fucking volcano. Well, I'm literally right next to Zolcano's prison channel teleport platform. Okay, yeah, there's a big ass fucking volcano boss here. Here. So I've never seen this before. Never been here. Never done it. Never even really paid attention. Oh, there she is. Oh, wow. Never even really paid attention to this when it's in videos because they just kind of run around and like occasionally mine. I don't really know what's going on here. There's also, is the sepulcher over here? No, that's in that swampy place. You know what? Maybe, maybe we do some fucking crystal trees. Would that be neat? I don't know. But the point being is I'm a do, I'm a do do prif. I'm gonna do prif real all right. I'm gonna do prif cool and we're gonna keep doing prif for the next hell couple of weeks. Let's fucking go. Eh. Oh. oh fuck. Oh god. Oh the raw rabbit looks like a little rabbit. Huh. That's dark. Oh hey. And the enhanced crystal teleport seed? Nope. Okay, fuck this place. So we continued our journey to do Priv, which mostly meant running around in, in circles for a really long time. It's been like, it's been like 15 minutes and I haven't even sniffed an impling. Like no sign of them whatsoever. Usually it's a little annoying when people are in the comment section. They're like, hey man, did you fucking know that you did everything wrong in the video? Like, haha, you're so dumb. You can't believe all the things you did wrong that you didn't know. Like normally that's, you know, I ain't sitting there reading all that shit, writing it down. But if there's a better way to get crystal implings than just running laps and hopping worlds by the fucking gods please tell me it's so hit or miss it just it feels like i'm doing something wrong it feels like i'm doing something wrong it's just things are not looking good there are no implings here <gasps> Ah, uh, there's, it ain't happening. We've had two implings for so fucking long. I want to open them so badly and just see the ring and then never, oh my God, it just spawned. Did that just spawn? Hell yes. Come here, you fucking loser. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, never mind. Don't tell me how to do this in the comments. I actually figured it out. So yeah, suck my dick. And then I just hopped worlds and immediately yoink, found another one. The implings must just be spawning right now. Apparently that's a thing. <gasps> They're everywhere. They're fucking everywhere. Yo, this is it. This is it, bros. They were all just gone and now they're all back, baby. We're gonna get so many implings. Fuck you guys. I know how to play the game good, so. <laughs> all right, now it's the time of the video called I watched a Rendy video once and now I'm, I have, I'm very 
smart, and I know how shit in the game works better than you do. Okay, so I'm doing mad science right now, so I just wanted to let you guys in on a little summon summon, since I'm so fucking smart now. It seems like all of the implings per, like, server are all respawning at the same time, so I'm hopping Australian worlds right now, and there's a bunch of implings on them, but if I go to UK or US, they, like, haven't spawned back yet. Now, uh, I watched a Rendy video one time where he was catching implings and he went into great deal about the like respawn timers but then it's like a global timer but then there's latency depending on the region or whatever i don't really understand what's happening right now all i know is that the re the global respawn timers of the implings are desynced from server to server i believe that's my like educated guess it was i was saying server when i meant to say region i think you guys understand what i meant to say so you're welcome <laughs> This is why, this is why I don't make guides right here. This is, maybe I should make guides though, because I bet people would fucking watch them. They'd be awesome. I don't know if they'd be like the most, most like helpful guide, but they would definitely be the longest audience retention of any guide because they'd be fucking hilarious and cool. So like, if you can't tell, I'm really fucking bored. I am just running in circles. And, and for the record, running in circles is so boring and so mind numbing that that's actually the analogy that we use for other things when we're making no progress. <gasps> Wait a minute. Look, the crystal impling. Let's fucking go. Okay, this is the final impling. And now I'm gonna open. Boom, baby. A rune arrow tips. Boom. Dragon stones. Oh, every time I don't get it, it hurt. Okay, well, fuck me. I'm gonna go do more corrupted gauntlet. Ah! Ah! <clears throat> This is not that bad. I'm actually pretty good at this. I'm not good at this game. I'm not even at my computer anymore. <coughs> the Corrupted Gauntlet was going really well. I am a good RuneScape player. But that wasn't the only thing I was doing in Prithinus. I'm doing a, a Crystal Impling run. We're gonna pick up a bunch of those, but... Thought I'd go ahead and swing by here. Pick up the Groot pet really quick. Yeah. It looks like I have already um, gotten the XP from that. I don't know when that would have been. Okay, it turns out I need an ax to chop some crystal trees. Uh, now I'm assuming I just get crystals for this. So 16? That seems pretty mediocre. Well, here's some ultra compost around your roots. A little bit of shit that I found. Apparently 16 crystal shards is the most that they can drop. So that's pretty cool then. And they only take eight hours to grow, which doesn't seem like too much. We'll be able to get, I don't know, one, maybe two a day. So we'll have no problem uh, using up all the crystal acorns like while we're doing this grind. And on today's episode of Right Click Roulette, this fucking guy kerm the sperm let's go all right continuing the uh crystal impling grind hey guys welcome back to who the fuck is in priftiness on this episode it's haha -ha docking hey haha -ha docking looking good well uh, we continue our journeys to find the crystal implings. Ding, 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 ding. Welcome back to Who the Fuck is in Priftinus? Today, it's Kansas, the second fucking worst state I've ever been to. Drove through a blizzard there. It was shitty. Despite the monotony of the grind, I was having a good time, and I remained completely sane the entire time. Blessed cock. Blessed cock. Oh. Oh. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> I live a weird life, I think, compared to most people in society. <laughs> It's a weird life. But at least I had the beautiful community around me to keep things interesting. Hey, what's up, everybody? How's it going? Hey, I'm just, you know, doing this. What did I call this thing? What? The, who the fuck is in Priftinus? We got I Slay Pussy. What's up? My man, I Slay Pussy, level 111, looking good in that light blue graceful, baby. Let's go. Okay, I just caught 12 implings. It's a good morning for implings. I am catching many, many an impling. And even more importantly, I have already caught, boom, baby. 30, it's only, I thought I had like 50 implings. We got 36. I'm gonna open all of them right now. So I'm pretty sure that we got it, right? Nope, okay. Okay, and we'll add another 10 and the uh, signet. Okay, and we've got six left. And come on, signet ring. 
fuck. All right, total, we've caught 116 plus seven. That's like the drop rate. I guess I'm out of things to report because the game didn't give me the thing that I needed, but we're gonna keep catching implings and everything is gonna go just fine. I found a motherfucking star, baby. Just like randomly in Pryptonus. I think the implings have all disappeared from this realm and they've gone back to whatever fuck off land that they came from. So uh, maybe we're done with it for now, but we were not done with it for now. No, Crystal Emblings. I remain resolute, never wavering. A bastion of strength and self determination. Fuckering, I do not need it. Runescape <laughs> is a fun game. I kid you not, I even found a country version of Smash Mouths walking on the sun. Hell yeah. Woo! Fuck that rabbit, baby. Let's go. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I'm just eating the shit out of that rabbit, baby. Let's go. Woo! And there was nothing, not even shitty RNG, that could keep me from completing my goal. Let's go. 13 amulets of power. That's exactly what I need to get the to do the things that I want to do with my life. Ha <laughs> ha. Woo! Rootscape, baby! Let's go! But maybe I could use a little break. So I went back to the Corrupted Gauntlet where everything was going just fine. It is time for the Corrupted Gauntlet. I must pay the most utmost attention now. For we are entering a land of terror and void. Where darkness has covered the realm and there is no safety to be had. Certainly I will destroy this wolf. Eat shit, wolf. Oh, that, that that's a fucking bear. All right. We should not go there. Dude, this gauntlet looks really fucking cool. The red version just really looks super awesome. A little bit spooky, a little bit cool. It's a fucking dragon! Oh shit, is that the run? Is that the run? It's over. There's a dragon to the east, guys. Who the fuck let a dragon in here? Now, I don't know who designed the gauntlet or how it exists in the world of RuneScape, but that place is fucked up. <laughs> Who, who, who made this place? There's a motherfucking dragon in here, man. Man, we gotta, we gotta go. We got two minutes left. I'm already cooking up some fish. We got tier three weapons perfected. I got three pieces of tier one armor. We're gonna have a bunch of time left over. Uh, and hopefully this is the kill. The last one was really close. I feel like I wasn't hitting very good. So maybe the bow is just better. Maybe the bow is better. All right, let's not get greedy here. This is a kill, baby. This is a kill, baby. Hey, first crow of the golly kill. Let's fucking go. Wait. Oh, shit. Ha! <laughs> like... <laughs> We did it, but holy shit. Uh, Could have died. Gauntlet K, baby. Let's go. I'm a fucking gamer. And pet time. Pet time. Let's, let's do this. Well, yo, guys, we did it. We got the K, baby. Dude, this is fun. We'd finally done it. After maybe five failed attempts and about 20 normal gauntlet KC, we got our first kill at the Corrupted Gauntlet. Yes, another kill. Oh, I'm so good at this. I'm tearing this apart. Four minute kill. That's two kills. I'm having a good time. And the pet. No pet. Tree, show me your secrets. Give me the crystal shards that I need. 16, that's that's pretty good. We, yeah, we'll take those. I demand, give me your crystal ring, please. I need not these scimitars or rune darts. These dragon stone amulets and these rune javelin heads. Please give me your secrets, God. Damn it, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm over the drop rate again. Oh God. We caught 131 imps and seven barehanded. We were officially going dry on this implant grind, but I'm used to that shit and nothing could stop me. Life is not fair. Life is not fair. Maybe, perhaps, this next impling that I find will be the one. I shall open just the one more impling before we stop doing this for a long while. Please, give me your impling. Is it down here by the pool? Is it down this way? No. Please, please, impling. In a rage, I reach into my spell book. I, I read the cryptic runes across the page and I, and I, and each, oh God. What have I done? What have I done? What have I become? Wait a minute. I've run by this fight like a hundred times. I've never thought, can I? Can I fuck with him? You can't attack this NPC? No. I was sick of it either. Like, bet on one of them and then just fucking take out the other. <laughs> oh man, that'd be cool. What the heck, Jagging? Okay, 
Okay, five kills. Let's go. Corrupted Gauntlet Veteran. This is not easy. We got three, two, one mage. Kill the Corrupted Gauntlet without taking damage off prayer. Yo, we had a really good run. All right, look at that. Fucking words. I'm so good at this game. Okay, there's 10 KC. Oh, oh God. Hi, ah, this is, I'm getting good. I'm getting so good at this. That's not a PB, but I fucking smurfed it, baby. Let's go. Give me the, and the enhanced crystal weapon seed. All right, that's cool. We didn't want that. Anyways, 13 KC, baby. Let's fucking go. My Chinese food is almost here, and I'm I'm, I'm gaming, and I'm, I'm ready to go. <laughs> At this point in my journey through the Elven Lands, almost two weeks had gone by. I had caught many implings. I had killed many uh, moose wolf dragon things. I had pickpocketed many elves. And all that I had to show for it was the enhanced teleport crystal seed. But I knew if I stuck to it, eventually, I would get the items that I needed. Holy shit, it's about time. We did it. Oh my god, Elven Signet Ring. Examine. 2.2 mil, baby. Okay, sick. Can I just use this on this? No, that's that's not how that works. Okay. I told you that this was a story of triumph. Did I did I say that? Did I actually say that? If I didn't, let me tell you now that this is indeed a story of triumph. We had gotten the Elven Signet Ring, and now it was time to create a ring more powerful than anyone had ever seen before. I can combine these somehow, the Elven Signet and the Celestial ring. I'm gonna go do that. I think, do I have to use them in a singing hole? <laughs> that's how you do everything with this equipment. All the crystal stuff. So baby, maybe that's it. Do I have enough stardust? Where would I keep my stardust? Okay, we have 2,000. I'm pretty sure that's good enough. And we're gonna need crystal shards. Don't know how many of those we're gonna need, but we have a shit ton. Okay, what's the, before we combine these, 143 ampling jars. We made 10.1 mil plus the seven from down here, but that's not bad. It was a little bit tedious, but done over the course of like a week. Uh, really not that bad. Sing crystal singing bowl, celestial signet. It cannot be reversed. Hell yes. Let's do it. Yes. Proceed. 10,000 crafting and smithing? What the fuck? With the hell of the crystal bowl, you sing a beautiful song and shape the crystal. We charged it with 500. Where's celestial signet? Okay, now what this thing does, this gives an invisible plus four mining boost. It also gives me a one out of 10 chance to get an extra ore when mining rocks up the adamant. And the most important bonus is it gives me a 10% chance to not have my crystal tools degrade when I'm using them. So eventually when we go to Zolcano, which is right over here, it'll make it so my crystal crystal stuff degrades slower, so yeehaw. Mostly, I'm just glad to check that off the list. Like, we're done with that. Hell yeah. We'd finally done it. We'd gotten one of the items we'd been searching for this entire time. And now with the enhanced teleport seed and the signet ring out of the way, the only things that lay before me were the extremely rare tool seed, enhanced weapon seed, and armor seed. Woohoo! There's no way that this could go poorly. These aren't gonna take fucking ages? This certainly isn't setting up the dramatic irony for me to go extremely dry on these items. It's time. I'm gonna head over to Zolcano, which is right over here, and uh, I copied what I'm wearing from other people I saw in the minigame. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna try soloing Zolcano. I don't really know. We'll see if that's a horrible idea, and if that doesn't go well, then I'll go to a world with a bunch of people, and I'll just run around with them and get free kills, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll, I'll let you guys know how that's going pretty soon. Oh my God. Hold all of that. If you think I'm putting this off, you're crazy. Teleport to player house. It's time, guys. It's been a week. We are doing this on cooldown. I spent way too much effort trying to make sure my Tears of Gothic gave me something useful. Side note, if you don't know what I'm referencing, you should go watch my last couple of videos. Lots of progress, lots of efficiency. And while I'm in a mood for shilling out, if you're liking the video, and you want to see more, hit that little uh, subscribe button. Okay, time to go get our uh, weekly agility experience. No, no, Nynaeve, no, you've got a mask on. Oh, shit. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Sick. Okay. Wow, that was... Haha. <laughs> but now a new challenge lay before me. It was time to defeat Rock Mommy. Or whatever fucked up thing you people are calling her these days. We went to Zolcano and she has tits. So runescapers have a very weird attitude towards her. And I'm not just talking about the dudes. You ladies are fucking weird too. So if you think you're getting off the hook on this one, you're not. Ba boom boom boom. It's pretty early in the morning, so finding an empty world, not gonna be difficult. Like this one. Uh, dangerous. Fountain Time will not consider a safe death. Oh, really? Huh. <laughs> Shh. 
Sure, I guess that's fine. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna be possible, but we're gonna mine away. Let's fucking go. This is pretty chill so far. I'm, yeah, I'm chilling. This is fucking great. <laughs> oh, this is fucking sick. Look at me. Yeehaw, baby. Hell yeah. I like my Zephra, bitch. Zephra, what's it called? Tephra. Okay, this is kind of fun. I don't know if I'm doing this even close to right. That actually makes it more fun. The, the thought that I'm just doing a super shitty job. Ow. Okay, yeah, you don't want to step on those. Ah, go, 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 go. Okay, wow. This is gonna take a long time. I wonder how points are distributed. It might be troll of me to be doing this by myself. Um, like, I might not be getting any more points. Uh, future Nine Rain here. Yeah, it's pretty troll. <laughs> okay, this kill's gonna take a decent while. <laughs> solo. I'm pretty sure nobody does this solo, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. I hope it's like Winter Toad or something where I get more points for soloing it. That would be cool. This kill is taking so long. Uh, we're not even halfway through and it's been like 10 minutes at least. Oh shit, I'm about to get got right here. Ah, my body. Is this it? Please hit high. Oh, come on. It's been 25 minutes. It's been 25 minutes doing this, but no. I didn't do any damage. Oh, fuck. Okay, here we go again, Zolcano. One more time around. Let's do this thing. Certainly this is it. Certainly this is it. Hit, 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 hit 31. Give me another 30. Give me 30. Please hit the 12. Yes. Holy shit. A 28 minute kill or something. Oh my God. The spurned hero. Wait, guys, that, that took so long. I mean, that's a lot of mithril, I guess. Um... Wow. Huh. Long kill, I guess. We do it again. Okay. Yep. That's how you do it. Yep. You go to the volcano world, you get on a team, and you fucking... There you go. <laughs> There's no world in which I ever do it solo ever again. That was bullshit. Yes, we are killing the volcano now. Okay. I'm just gonna get a bunch of kills because this is... That took about two minutes as opposed to 25. So I prefer this. MVP. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. Infernal Ashes at the Crystal Shards. We got MVP. Oh my god. And and that's seven Casey. Yo, this is so much better. This is so much better. Never do it solo ever. It's not worth it. I wish there was a way to do it solo that was like cool and worth it. Because I like the idea of doing bosses by myself. But this one, definitely not that. Okay, guys. What? This is actually really easy. And you get a ton of money. Look, okay. 28 minutes. I've been doing this for about 30 minutes. Excluding the solo kill, which I'm never doing again. And we've made 685k in 30 minutes plus 26 crystal shards this boss is broken this boss is so broken what the hell maybe i get i'm gonna get 50 kc guys i'm gonna get 50 and we're gonna see how we're feeling after that honestly we're getting about 20 kc an hour so maybe we do this for about three hours and i'll see you then i guess 29 kc at zolcano i know that's a weird number but <laughs> we've made 2.6 mil the drop rate on a crystal tool seed i think is one in 200 and the kills are pretty chill so i'm just gonna do like 20 kc every once in a while it only takes about an hour to do that so you know between that and gauntlet uh we've still got a couple more grinds here to do in perif and i'm making a lot of money kind of passively getting all this random skilling shit so man dude this is so broken Zolcano is so broken i remember those days we were happy then oh we were so full of joy and hope for the future but as with all good times they must come to an end for the natural state of humanity is not that of peace but of war and it only takes the failure of that small amount of what is good and right in the world to be overcome by darkness and sadness and piles of shit. So when your children come in and they're like, Mommy, Daddy, why is the funny man in the RuneScape video crying? You can tell them it is because of war and famine and the inevitable heat death of the sun. So, well, how about more RuneScape? Holy shit, we got the redemption. No way, I'm a god. Okay, that was a really shitty run, but the redemption at the end was kind of clutch. And we deserve the enhanced crystal seed. Yeah, nope, nothing. Okay, well, um, 17 KC. I feel like my kill times are terrible. 10 minutes feels like way too long. Oh my god, guys, look. I, I did it. I got a one bill bank again. What's going on? Examine amulet of torture. <gasps> 
Whoa. Dude, wait. The, oh my God. The third party client ban. Uh, guys, I don't know if you remember. There was an episode of Iron Man. Oh God, like two years ago or something. It was before the market crash of like early 2021 or something, I guess. And I got my first Zenite and then I bought the rest of the Zenites for like 11 mil a pop because I was certain they were going to go up from wherever they were at the time, which was like 11 mil. And it's taken like two years and the impending release of Raids 3. But we finally made a fucking killing off of these. Also, how much is the ancestral top? Oh my god. Oh my god. Kodai wand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. Guys, all of this stuff is worth so much money. Some of the equipment that people are gonna be using for Raids 3 and some of the equipment that was heavily farmed and abused with third-party clients that got banned has gone up in value tremendously. So much so that I'm back to one bill. This is fucking great. This is fucking great. Well, uh, we're gonna head back to Zolcano. I'm gonna do a little bit of... Oh my god, that man just died. Uh, we're gonna do Zolcano on the Zolcano world because it's like 7 in the morning, so nobody's here. Hopefully we hit 50kc today. Hopefully we'll get a drop. What if we got a weapon seed and a tool seed today? That would be fucking sick. Okay, we... <laughs> Pure essence, baby. Let's just go. I'm pretty sure that's 50. That's 50. I'm I'm leaving. This is it. That's it for me, baby. We're leaving. Everyone's leaving. Okay, yeah. F <laughs> fuck this place. 50 kills. We made a total of 4 mil-ish. We're a quarter of the way to drop rate for a tool seed. So gonna be a bit of a grind, but I'm gonna do that at a different time. Now, this time I was feeling a little burnt out after running in circles for 10 years and then killing this bitch 50 times. And I thought it would be nice to go back to the whole reason I was here in the first place, which was to explore. Look at that butt! And to experience the elf lands. Look at that butt! You remember that? We're gonna go to the elf lands and explore it like it's an MMO. <laughs> Ass and titties. How quickly you get caught up in the grind. So we're getting... We're getting back to it. After the previous video, I read a lot of the comments and apparently there's some fucking weird stuff in Pryptonus that I'm gonna go check out. Okay, it's around here somewhere. Okay, apparently there is a hole in the ground somewhere in Pryptonus and within that hole in the ground in Pryptonus, there is a rabbit. Now, I'm privy to what this rabbit is like. I've heard stories. I've known that this rabbit has been in the game for a very long time, but I do not know where to find it. I have never personally seen this rabbit. Rabbit. And all that I know about this rabbit is that it is going to kick my ass. I'm not sure if you can beat this rabbit. I'm not sure if it's been done before. But is this it? Is this a hole in the ground? There's a big. There's a hole. No, that's from the. That's part. That's part of the agility course. The, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Hey, a crystal limp link. Now that I already have the item, uh, twenty bucks says this is the another signet ring. All right, eight onyx bolt tips. We take those. Where is it, guys? I think I found it. It is, it is not within Priftinus, but rather it is north of Priftinus, somewhere over here. Right? By this pond, by this pool of water. There's a red panda within the trees. Dozens of carnivorous chin chompers around here. Is this it? This looks like a secret path to somewhere. Tell me there's a hole at the end. There's rabbits and this fucking guy. What? Hello, Lenny. As you approach Lenny, he takes something out of his pocket. What the fuck just happened here? He seems to like petting the rabbits. Huh? This has got to be a reference to something that I'm not getting. What happens if I attack a rabbit right in front of Lenny? What do you think of that, Lenny? Nothing? Okay. What the fuck is over here? A gold mine? Wait, so first of all, what the hell is this? I don't think anybody knows what this is. I wonder what these are. Not even the game knows what they are. Was this in a quest that I've just forgotten? Look! <laughs> Wait, yes. Hidden. With no markings upon it on the map. A examine danger sign. Danger. There's blood everywhere. Guys, this must be it. <laughs> Behold. Before me lies. The greatest. There it is. Guys, I'm gonna fucking die. And I'm gonna lose my Onyx bolt tips. Is he gonna attack me? No. Okay. <laughs> Look at this foul fucking beast. Look at this fucking monster. Here's this. This Here it is for all the children at home watching. Might as well turn on. Can't do protect item because I'm in a high risk world. So whatever. Fuck it. Fuck it. Ah. Run, run, flee, run. Look, that's a lot of HP. Guys, he has a lot of HP. Can I leave and re-enter? He doesn't... I'm not entirely sure that this isn't working. Leave. Guys, I can't take damage. I'm actually invincible. Um, I'm gonna get a bow and I'll be back. We're about to have some fucking cooked rabbit tonight, baby. Let's go. Ah! No, I just... 
I just have to just stand with the on the ground. Oh God, how much was that? Oh God, I just poured. Oh, okay, 4K. That's not that's not too bad. Okay, I have come with a complete arsenal, ready to slay the beast. Now I'm not entirely sure if this is gonna go well or not. I guess we'll find out the hard way. Where was the? Is that up here. Enter cave. I'm bringing ruby bolts because it has like two billion health, and I'm bringing diamond bolts in case we get it low and the ruby bolts stop hitting as high. So I uh, nothing to. <laughs> But to do it, I don't know what the fuck. I'm gonna shoot it with rigor on and preserve. And then we're gonna fucking pray, 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 pray. Oh my god, 1000 XP drop? What the fuck was that? Run, run. Wait, this is working. Wait, guys, this is working. Ow, ow, ow. Nope, nope, it's not working. I, I think this is possible, but for the life of me, I. <laughs> I, I can't be asked. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna drink this prayer potion. We're gonna step back in. We're gonna shoot him and we're gonna leave. Look at that the XP drop. Wait, that's a scuffed fucking XP drop if I've ever seen one. Okay, yeah, we don't take damage when we do it like this. Wow, I guess I'll see you guys in 100 hours. Look, we're hitting 100. Wait, this is doable. <laughs> no way. No way I'm hitting these XP drops like this. Oh my God, he's fucked. So yes, I did this. And yes, it took a long time. And no, you should not do this. <laughs> it's not worth it. But it was fucking cool. It was cool. Oh, b we fucking did it. We what? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, it actually drops the holy grail. You're kidding me. Wait, how is this not a money maker? Okay, ignore the 40 minutes down here. Um, does it drop this every time? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Wait, did I get really lucky? Did I get really lucky? Or, okay, this is worth looking up. Brothers and sisters, I stumble forth from the darkness of the rabbit cave, covered in the blood of my enemy. The, my hand grasps the crystal grail, which I wrought from the dead body of the rabbit itself, called down upon to bless me by the elven ancestors, my forefathers and the forefathers before them. I am a mighty and powerful warrior. I shall drink from this puddle right here. I reach down, I... Truly, I have defeated all that the Taranman and Priftiness has to offer. I'm a mighty and powerful god, and this realm is not ready to face me, for I have ascended. I am Nine Rain, and Priftiness has been defeated. Now, we defeated the Crystalline Hunlef. We defeated Zarkano. We pillaged the nobility of Priftiness for all they were worth. We would captured hundreds of Implings, which I'm sure in an Elfland have some sort of religious significance, but we don't fucking care. I don't know if we kill them. Them, and that's how we got the loot. We rammed a net over their head and stuffed them in these fucking jars until we got the ring that we were looking for, which I guess, you know, according to Implor, they probably stole from the people of Priftinus. So, moral quandary solved, I guess. Anyways, Priftinus was my oyster, and I had sucked that salty slop like a Taranwin whore. But we weren't done here. I still needed the tool seed, the armor seed, the enhanced crystal weapon seed, and I needed to see what the fuck else was in Priftinus because there's a whole part of the game that I'm sure none of you guys have ever been to because I know I haven't and I don't even know what's there. So we're going to go do that. We're going to continue exploring the Elflands. Uh, there's a nice little pier over here. I'm going to just go ahead and take a little look at that. There's still some more cool shit over this away. It also turns out that the rabbit drops this every time and has a six hour respawn timer, which is actually crazy and maybe explains why people don't farm this boss aside from it taking me 40 minutes of <laughs> hopping in and out of that stupid hole. Let's go wander on over this way. This is the part of the episode where I show you guys things that you didn't know about Priftinus. Like, there's a fucking stag in the runescape? Brother Stag. Examine Stag. A noble creature indeed. What a noble beast. Look at him. That's fucking sick. How long have there been stags in runescape? And what is this? Examine cenotaph? An old... I don't know if that's how you say that. An old cenotaph dedicated to an old hero. Their deeds may be forgotten, but their memory lives on. Should I know who this is? The savior, the dark one. Interesting. This is fucking cool. <clears throat> no, excuse me. I mean, this is profound and worthy of reverence. Look here. I'm gonna do something that RuneScape players have never done before. I will bow before the cenotaph of the dark one and the savior, bearing my crystal goblet, which I have wrought from the magic of the elves and by defeating the most powerful villain this world has ever seen. Right, I've got some mushrooms over here. Look, there's a pathway. Okay. Yeah. There's a pathway that winds around this fucking massive rock, guys. 
be honest, how many of you have actually ever been here? Where does this go? This feels like something that would be part of a quest. Whoa! Big fucking direwolf, baby. Am I high enough level that he won't attack me? He, he looks like he's going to attack me. And I've been bitten by a direwolf. And there's another direwolf here. A slightly stronger variety, but I'm not afraid. I'm too quick. He has not even gotten a bite off on me. This one, though. Zero. What are all these direwolves doing? An Ed? Like Mod Ed? Hello again, friend. Fuck. I, sh I should know this guy? I don't know who this is. Examine corpse? The fuck is this? This is so cool. The winds roar about their bones. I feel like I should know what has happened here. Is this the savior in the dark one? In a ring of gold and a black dragon up here. What the hell? Examine carcass. Is this a dragon carcass? Did I come here during Dragon Slayer 2? I really can't remember. A throne and dragon eggs. Whoa! Shit, dudes, this is fucking cool. I have no idea what lore that I have stumbled upon, but I like it. Medwill Yumlane Law. What the fuck? Are Roadward Tan. What the fuck are these names? This is <laughs> alphabet soup. Pray at altar. A shrine to the glory of Saren. Oh, yes. Bless me, Saren, please. We've been everywhere north of Prif. We've been west of Prif. We've been on the charter ship docks. We did all of Taranwin during the millions of quests. Guys, I actually think I've seen everything everything in Prif. I don't know. I probably missed something. But at the end of the day, we came here to explore and I think we fucking did it. And on top of all of that, we caught like 150 crystal limplings, made 10 mil from that. We pickpocketed 500 elves, got 10 mil from that. We completed the gauntlet 30 times, I think. Got 5 mil from that. We killed Zolcano 50 times, got 4 mil from that. And then we killed the rabbit and got a fucking holy grail, baby. If there's anything that I missed in Priftinus, just let me know at this point. I'm sure there's lots of stuff. I'm enjoying my stay in the Elflands. Maybe next time we're gonna go to like sleep or some other city and maybe we just do a couple episodes like this because this was fun. Uh, and then at the end of the day, I still have the actual Iron Man grinds that I need to get done. So like the enhanced crystal seed, weapon seed, tool seed, armor seed, augury, a vernic defender, and a couple other items before we go complete the fucking Inferno and then Rage 3 and then we beat RuneScape and then we uh, do it on another account. I have no idea. I don't have plans past that point. So I guess that's it for me. I'll go ahead and let you guys know that I am working on a second YouTube channel. It's going to be more variety content. I'll announce more stuff when I get closer to launching it. Could still be a couple of months, but it's pretty fucking great. Actually, you know what? Here's a little sneak peek. Here's a little bit. Here's a little taste. Yeah, you're doing great, Jimmy. You're doing great. Oh! What's the acceleration button? That's Why? space. Space. Oh! Whoa! Oh, shit! Jimmy, what the I got it, I got it. Jimmy, no, Jimmy, Jesus Christ. I got this. Oh my God, it's on fire. Uh, the, the plane or? Oh, ow, ow. Uh, me and the plane. I'm just, the whole area around me is on fire. Yeah, Jimmy, I don't know if I can get to you, man. I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> just hang I'm gonna... in there. I got you. <laughs> oh my God, I saw you killing yourself. All right, let me, yeah. It's just me and Jimmy playing games. And I, I have one more, one more little clip I want to show you guys. You might recognize some of these dudes from the Valheim video I did a couple months ago. <laughs> I'm putting natural gas on the surface. I'm going to go oh, a little yeah. bit away from the base. Oh yeah, let's test it. Yes, yes. The great peen. It grows ever larger. Reach the sky, great peen. <laughs> what the Come on, Joey, Alex, and I are doing science. The we're doing, great peen. We're doing it's a bunch of sciencey shit up on the surface. Get in there, Alex. Go. Oh. He's floating. He's not going anywhere. Alex, you get it off. Get it off him. Clean I'm good, it off. I'm, good. I'm alive. How the fuck did you live? I don't know. It went like I went from half to one in like two seconds. Oh, it's like poison. It doesn't kill. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best space program the America's ever seen. Okay, now that's it for real. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.